I'm going to explain how to use a cheater cord. This is bought off of Amazon under HVAC cheater cord. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to zoom in, but it is 14 gauge wire. A lot of your vacuum pumps and recovery equipment will want you to use 14 gauge wires. So I try to come right off of the equipment. We got a ground down here, so I'll take one lead to my ground, and then I will come and look for my power source. I'm trying to do this one-handed, so bear with me. Um, I'm getting 23 volts on the meter, 15 volts, 115 volts on that one. Come down to the bottom, I'm getting zero. Zero, zero, again, 118 volts. Let me try and show you here. 120 volts, 120 volts, 207. So I'm going to hook up to this with my black wire, um, my ground. I'm going to bring in and try to clip right on to my ground washer, my white. I'm going to hook over to the metal over here and then my black wire. I'm going to come in and get on that one if I can. And then you can always double check it by sticking your meter in, the plug, ah, falling out here, give me a second, it's early in the morning, 118 volts, meter in plug, and we hook a vacuum up to it. And now we have action jackson for power up by the rooftop. <laughs> On this one, I am doing a pressure test. I like to do at least 10 minutes, so. While I'm doing my pressure test, I'll come in and hit it with some bubbles. Grab my work phone and snap a picture. No bubbles. And then we will get ready to do um, vacuuming. So I'm going to use my Ampian core remover tools normally. This is probably going to have a speed port. If it does, um, we're going to look around and there's no other ports on it. While the system's flat, we could braze it in. We can also take off a pressure port and use them. So we'll go from there. Just wanted to show you how to use the cheater cord safely. Make sure you got 120 volts and not frying nothing.